Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about a drama romance film called Me Before You from 2016. A lot of interesting things are waiting for you. Two years ago, William Trainer was rich, handsome, and in perfect health. He was dating Alicia, and everything was going well. But one unfortunate day, Will went to work in the rain. As he crossed the street, he was talking on the phone. Because of this, he didn't notice a motorcyclist who drove onto the roadway. As a result of the accident, Will was left disabled. Most of his body was paralyzed. Louise Clark, whom friends and family called Lou, was not rich and did not consider herself beautiful, but she was happy. Louise compensated for all the hardships of life with her irrepressible optimism. And even when she was fired from the cafe where she had worked for six years, she did not lose hope. The owner had to fire her because the cafe was closing. She and her sister were the only ones in the family who worked, so she couldn't stay without a salary for long. Lou changed many different jobs, but never stayed anywhere for long. Her boyfriend had recently graduated from university and supported her. He advised her to apply to the employment center again. Patrick has always been very motivated and loved to play sports. He charged Louise with his optimism and she went to the employment center to look for a job. She was offered a not particularly popular job where she had to take care of a paralyzed man. This man was William. His mother, Camilla, conducted the interview. Lou had never cared for the disabled, but Camilla liked her and made it clear that she could handle the job because she was Sarah, the mother of dragons, not some girl from the street. The girl is much stronger than she seems at first glance. Camilla introduced her to Will and he decided to scare the new girl right away by pretending to have a very severe case of paralysis. However, Louise needed money and she agreed to start working immediately. In addition, Nathan took care of Will and she was supposed to cheer Will up and keep him from getting bored. When Lou returned home, she told her family that she had found a job. She didn't know how much Will would ruin her life. Nathan brought her up to speed and showed her the folder with patient care instructions. He also warned her that William can be irritable and doesn't like idle chatter. Will simply sent her to the kitchen and asked her not to interfere. Gradually, they learned a lot about each other. Louise was clumsy and overly positive, and William was always in a gloomy mood. One day, Louise's sister Katrina told her that she wanted to quit her job and continue her studies because Louise was earning good money now. Louisa supported her. Soon after, Will's best friend Rupert and his ex-girlfriend Alicia came to visit. After being injured, Will pushed away everyone who was close to him. Because of this, Rupert and Alicia became closer and started dating. They came to tell him about it. Will was upset, but he didn't show it. Louise told Patrick about everything. Her new job didn't bother him too much because Patrick couldn't stop thinking about the upcoming triathlon in Norway. He even invited Louisa with him, presenting it as a romantic trip. After the competition, they would be able to spend time together. When Will began to bother Louise again, she expressed her displeasure. This earned her his favor. He invited her to watch a European movie with subtitles, and she liked it. They began to walk together and talk often. Louise took Will to the hospital for a checkup, and Nathan explained to her that there was no hope for recovery. Will's spinal cord is damaged, which means that things will only get worse. He is already often ill and extremely negative, although at first he tried to fight. Despite his work, he and Patrick spent time together. They went to the movies, and Lou invited her boyfriend to a movie with subtitles. But he refused because he preferred to watch stupid comedies with a primitive plot. When the cold weather started, William fell ill, and Louise had to look after him. His father, Stephen, was away, and Nathan was not around. Lou was very worried about Will and called them both. Nathan arrived just in time. He helped to bring down the temperature and his ward's condition stabilized. Louise found videos on Will's laptop where he was involved in various extreme sports. Before the injury, he loved life and tried to make it bright and memorable. William woke up and asked Lou to stay with him. To calm him down, Louise even sang a silly song that her father used to sing to her. Then she told me about her tights that she had been given as a child. She adored them and wished they made the same kind of tights for adults. Spring came and Louise still stayed close to Will. He saw her as a bright, unusual girl and wanted her to achieve all her goals. Louise saw him without a beard and wanted him to shave it off. William allowed her to shave off his beard. Soon after, Louise accidentally learned that Will had made an agreement with his parents. He wants to be euthanized in six months so as not to burden them with his presence. It is painful for him to be in this world, knowing that his best years are already behind him. Louise told her sister about this and she advised her to make these six months the happiest of Will's life. Lou came up with a plan to revive William's will to live and his parents approved it. They were willing to do anything to keep their son alive. Under the pretext that Nathan had never seen a horse race, Louise suggested that Will go to the racetrack. The trip was not particularly successful and the horse that Louise bet on lost, so everyone returned home in a bad mood. However, Louise calmed down she invited William to a classical music concert, but now it would be just the two of them. Louise put on a beautiful dress and they had a real date. Will didn't even want to go home so the evening wouldn't end. 
He wanted to be the man who took the girl in the red dress to the concert. After a while, Lou said that Patrick and her parents wanted to meet him. They invited him to Louise's birthday party. Her family liked William, but Patrick didn't like him very much. He gave his girlfriend a questionable pendant, which she was not happy about. But she was happy with William's gift. He bought Louise a pair of striped tights with bees on them. William and Louise became closer and closer. Will even told her about the time he spent in Paris. He wanted to be at the table of a street cafe again, but he couldn't because he wasn't himself anymore. One day when Lou returned home, she learned that her father had been hired by William's parents. Her mom and dad decided to celebrate this event. Louise was not very happy because her dad was not hired fairly, but she had to accept it. Then she received some unpleasant news. A specialist from the euthanasia clinic came to see William. At that moment, she realized that no amount of effort would make William give up his idea. She told Camilla about everything. Alicia and Rupert invited William to their wedding and he decided to go. He took Louise with him. It was painful for him to see his ex-girlfriend and best friend getting married, but he accepted it. At the ceremony, Louise drank too much and wanted to dance with Will. He was spinning on the dance floor in his chair, and while they were enjoying each other's company, Louise persuaded him to go out and relax. He and Louise spent the night in a hotel, and when they returned home, Nathan noticed that William was sick. Meanwhile, Lou told Patrick that she had to cancel their trip to Norway. She wanted to spend time with Will. Patrick was offended, but Louise didn't have time to think about it because she was told that Will was in the hospital. His parents and Nathan were already there. Nathan explained to Louise that because of his weak lungs, any infection could undermine William's health. When Camilla went home to change, Lou decided to stay at Will's bedside. He was in serious condition, but recovering. Louise was about to cancel the reservation at the hotel where they were going to go, but then she had an idea. She decided to organize another trip for William, if the doctor would allow it. They would take Nathan with them as a safety net. When Lou returned home, Patrick was waiting for her. He apologized for his behavior. Patrick still thought that Louise was so dedicated to her work because she was appreciated and expected to do a lot. But suddenly he saw Louise's folder where she kept photos from her and Will's vacation. Patrick was angry because he didn't want his girlfriend to spend time in a tropical paradise with his patient and doctor. They fight and Patrick leaves. Louise goes on vacation with William and Nathan. They have a carefree time and Nathan even finds a girlfriend here. And it's not a big deal because Louise can always look after Will. When Nathan goes to see the girl off to her room, William and Lou are left alone. The power goes out because of a thunderstorm and they spend the night together. The next day, Will persuades her to go scuba diving. At first, Louise was afraid, but once she tried it, she was completely delighted. One evening, William confessed to her that he wanted to go for euthanasia. Louise also admitted that she knew about it. In fact, she thought that after everything that had happened between them, he would change his mind, but Will did not. He doesn't want to live realizing that he can't give Louise much. He doesn't want to see the regret in her eyes and no amount of reasoning will make him change his mind. He only asks her to be there for him when it happens. After returning from her trip, Louise quit her job and returned home. Camille caught up with her on the way out of the airport and Lou told her that she didn't need their money. At that moment, Camilla realized that her son was going to die. When Lou arrived home, she told her family about everything and her mother forbade her to be present at the euthanasia procedure. She was sure that it was the same as murder, but her father thinks differently. He talked to his daughter and realized that Lou regretted refusing to be with Will. He suggested that she call him. Perhaps she will still have time to see her lover before he dies. Louise arrives in Switzerland and finds William. He is happy to see her and even sings her a silly song. They say goodbye and Will does what he came here to do. After his death, Louise receives a letter. In it, Will asks her to live and enjoy every moment. To give her this opportunity, he leaves her a large sum of money. Louise went to Paris to the cafe that William told her about and, of course, wore the striped tights he gave her. In this place, Lou felt William's presence, even though he was not there. If you have watched the video so far, you should know that I'm happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Oleha Recapped was with you. See you soon.